everyone. Welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about the cellular process endocytosis. Endocytosis is a very common cellular process that basically involves the uptake of bulk material from outside of the cell, so extracellular material, and bringing it into the cell using a membrane-bound vesicle. There are really three different types of endocytosis. These are pinocytosis, also phagocytosis or phagocytosis, and also receptor-mediated endocytosis. That third one, receptor-mediated endocytosis, is a very specific process that uses a receptor on the cell surface to bind to some specific extracellular component that it is uh, very specific to and bring that into the cell. It's a pretty complex process that we're not going to talk about today. We're going to be focusing on just these two here. So let's get started. Pinocytosis, you can think of this as a process of cell drinking. Basically, this is where the cell uses a structure that you see here. This is called an invagination. So the cell uses this invagination to take in basically the liquid or aqueous environment and all of the small dissolved solutes that are there and bring it into the cell into this membrane-bound vesicle. Now relative to phagocytosis, which we'll talk about in a minute, these vesicles with pinocytosis are relatively small. And this is one way that cells get the nutrients that they need or take up um, so signaling components. And the most common cells that are using pinocytosis are liver cells, kidney cells, and epithelial cells, so skin cells. And so the result of pinocytosis is just this uptake of uh, small soluble components into the cell in this process of cell drinking. Now let's talk about phagocytosis. Phagocytosis, relative to pinocytosis, you can think of phagocytosis as a form of cell eating. So this is when the cell uses these cellular structures called pseudopodia, so that's plural pseudopodia and singular pseudopods. So pseudopodia and one is pseudopod. And you still get this vesicle, a membrane-bound vesicle being the result. So the pseudopodia envelop large, large particles. These can be bacteria, these can be dead cells, and so you can imagine how large these pseudopodia have to be to envelop something that large. What happens is the pseudopodia bring them in via this membrane-bound vesicle, which compared to the pinocytosis smaller vesicles, phagocytosis vesicles are quite large. And the phagocytosis process is very common to different cells of the immune system, so specifically macrophages, dendritic cells, and neutrophils. These different cell types can take up uh, bacteria that they recognize or dead cells that they recognize and then once these, these components come into the vesicles they get broken down by enzymes and this is a way that the uh, immune system protects us from these, these foreign pathogens and that's the process of phagocytosis. So I hope you learned a lot today.